it is a very busy Sunday night in the case we got 9 games for you to enjoy. Let's not waste any time and get right to it. My name is Andrea Sachenko and you're watching Daily KHL Update. We take it first to Novosibirsk where Torpedo visit the Snowflakes. Scary stuff for the Bucks early in the game. Georgi Misharin shoots from the high slot and hits Dennis Young right in the kisser. He did not return to action after this. The team's fair goals right after that, though. Nikita Sedikov scores a 6th of the year to put Sibir in the lead. And then Nikolai Kovalenko converts in a power play to tie it up. Sergey Gincharuk and Alexey Krojini with the helpers. Late in the frame now, tic-tac-toe play. Nikita Korikov pulls the trigger and Ivan Kolbakov makes a huge save to keep it a tie game. He comes up with another huge save early in the second. This time he denies 2011 World Junior Gem Dennis Golubev. The host grabs the lead meter to the third. Kulbakov misplays the puck and Valentin Pinov makes him pay for that. The puck stand up once again in the last minute of regulation with the extra skater route. The rubber on and sends this one to OT. And then the house clinched the W just 8 seconds into the extra period. Alexander Sharov celebrates his 18th goal of the season and severe win their third in a row. 3-2 is the final. We travel to Astana, Kazakhstan now, where Boris take on Salavat Yulayev. Versus get in front, Nito to the first. Alexander Kadikin converts in a power play. In and out, but it counts. 1 0 Salavat. Second period now, Jeremy Bracco crosses behind the net, tries to wrap it up, but Ilya Zhov gets his pad in the way. And then Alejandro Setup jumps to the slot and jams it in, but it's not gonna stand. Call interference is the call, and it's still a 1 0 game. Race turning around late in regulation. Arkady Shistakov converts in a power play to even it up. And three minutes later, Igor Peter Hopkins is 11th of the year to give Boris a late lead, which they're gonna hold down to. Boris beats Salavat for the third consecutive time this season. 2 1 is the final. To Magnitogorsk now, where Matalog welcome up to Mobilist. And the host opened up the score in less than a minute in. Maxim Karpov finds the back of the net with a nifty move in front of the net. The Bears is even it up later in the period. Josh Carver misplays the puck, and Andrea beat and solves that at Pasquale. Nine seconds of the period, Denis Zernov with all the moves and a setup for Andre Chibisov by Yukon Matsen stands his ground. Optimabilis scores the game-winning goal late in the second. Former San Jose Shark Daniel Tarasov gets the tally. No scoring after that, but there's a nice hip check by Yipin Gorkin and Igor Karopkin in the third. Never a dull day when something like this happens. The Ekaterian board get in front in the season series 2-1 as they take it 2-1 on the road. Coming on to Kazin now, where Ogbar slide by their new head coach Yuri Babenko play host to Dynamo Moscow. Now scoring through 40 minutes of play, so we'll pick it up from the third. The Cats grab the lead with a power play goal as Misha Varankov scores his sixth goal in five games. The blue and white respond with a shorty. Ivan Moranov gains the zone and rifles it home from mid range. Soon after that, former Avs pick Andre Miranov scores in a power play to give Moscow a late 2 1 lead. But Akbar's force overtime with a goal on the man advantage in the final minute of regulation. Two times Stanley Cup champ Slava Voinov finds his target with a clapper. And then the host secure the W with a power play goal in the extra period. Former St. John Sea Dogs Stanislav Galif with the dagger. Akbar's take a 3 2 on home ice. And there are plenty of scores left to tell you about. The 
Amir Zakharov scored twice late in the third and Dmitry Yashkin chipped in in the shootout to leave SKA St. Petersburg 4-3 over Kulun Red Star. Andrei Svidlakov scored twice as Red Army beat Sochi 4-2 on the road. Spartak scores four in a row to escape by speed is 4-1 in Balashika. Loko beat Nechtekimik 4-1 as well, Maxim showing off with a pair of tallies. And finally, Ripochet got two power play goals as Avangar beat Trucker 5-1 on home ice. And that's it for the KHL update, but do come back tomorrow for two more games. A moral battle against Admiral or Severstal will visit Dynamo Mens. My name is Andrea Sachinka. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to check back with us this Monday.